Good day and welcome back to another Deep Z Dokken Metal video. So in this video we are going to take a look at the Int LR SSBE Vegeta and how he performs in the Representatives of Universe 7 uh, Super Battle Road stage. So here we have Vegeta, uh, he's going to be paired up with his best uh, partner in the form of the transforming AGL SSBE Vegeta. Uh, we have a couple supports on rotation and everything like that, so we are going to be able to see you know, a variety of stats from him. And the unit we've taken is 55%, so nothing too crazy. Uh, we've just taken a standard unit into the Super Battle Road. I generally try to take a unit with some dupes into the Extreme Battle Road review, so that we can get a good idea of you know, what the best uh, situations are for him, and how many dupes we need for the various content. But we're going to move AGL Vegeta off rotation. Uh, this is just so that we can obviously push him into a rotation with Vegeta. And we'll see if we can get the active skills and if we can get, you know, the active skills or the revival skill or something like that. Uh, we'll try and see how much damage he takes with items, without items. And, and yeah, in general, just get a good picture of where Vegeta is at and, you know, how much damage he does and, you know, what he does in general throughout the event. But yeah, beyond that, obviously, we've got a couple supports. We've got MVP 17, so we'll see an uh, inflated defense stat. We've also got the 20% support in Gohan and Frieza. So we have a variety of supports, uh, and we'll let them take an attack or two without an item as well, just so we can get a full idea of how Vegeta performs. Obviously, we have a Whis active. Uh, the reason we have a Whis active is because of this exact scenario right here. Uh, with us taking multiple super attacks in that first turn so unfortunately we weren't able to test out uh, how Vegeta does with an, without an item uh, but we will get a good idea of how he performs here uh, he does have the spot on rotation I'm not going to list up his defense stat we'll take a look at that a bit later once we have Vegeta on rotation with him so we can you know see him with his maxed out links but he shouldn't have any problems here uh, the situation we're hoping for is for Vegeta to obviously get some crits and additionals and start to clean up the field. Uh, that was a 2.4 million attack stat. I know you guys can't see it because uh, it flashes so quickly. So yeah, uh, he does get a crit though, which is obviously great. Uh, it was against a type advantage unit, so it wasn't too much of an issue. Uh, but it was nice to clear them off the board. The reason doing so is because obviously we have the uh, AGL Boo, and if he takes a super attack somehow from them, he will take quite a large chunk of damage, and we're just trying to mitigate how much damage we take. We are going to have the uh, SSB Goku here, so what we'll do is we'll activate his Spirit Bomb, just because you don't get to see it that often, uh, and then we'll return back. So nice big damage from the spirit bomb there, obviously it also gives us the attack buff for the next turn and makes Goku effective against all types. So really really a uh, good mechanism to use there. Nice big chunky attack stat from Goku, links well with Go Freezer, and he'll wrap everything up for us which means that the next battle we fight in, Vegeta will be at the start of the turn. So yeah, gonna be a nice little shift through there. Uh, and we can see Vegeta at the start of the next turn take on the Pepe Gels, so to say. Uh, so Vegeta here, we've got him finally paired up with uh, the other Vegeta. Uh, he does have MVP 17 on rotation, which means we have quite a high defense. Uh, we'll just pop an item here. We are going to use a Princess Snake. So we won't just see Vegeta's uh, you know, damage he takes without an item just yet. 5 links activated which is very very good and 180 or so thousand defense which is really solid as well. Uh, Vegeta has 10% damage reduction right off the bat uh, but remember every time he gets hit he will build that damage reduction as well. So overall uh, obviously a very very impressive defensive stat from the 55% Vegeta uh, and he's going to be quite the brick wall for us in this Vegeta pairing. Uh, we got 3 million there, 
Uh, I know again you can't see it. 3 million may not seem like a lot, but remember Vegeta can basically crit all the time as you're seeing here. And we have the chance to additional at 55%, which you see there again. Uh, so some very big damage from Vegeta if he crits. Yeah, almost eliminated another person. Very, very good. And with just the 30% attack reduction from Princess Snake, he only took 30,000 there. He would have taken even less uh, if he had been hit beforehand. So that's a good demonstration of how Vegeta does in SBR with a single item active, which I think is fine. Representatives of Universe 7 is one of the newer SBRs. So it can be uh, somewhat challenging. Uh, and of course, you know, there is a jump between SBR and other content, but it's nice to see how he does here, taking something a bit more than a Doukan event uh, and something that's maybe a little bit less uh, than some of the extreme SBRs. But it'll be good to see how Vegeta does. And I think so far his offense 55% has been pretty good. Uh, he did some really decent damage there. Uh, his defense has been super solid with an item so far. Obviously, uh, you know, we want to test him at some point without an item, which we will uh, at the next stage. But I definitely think so far he's done really, really well. And his kits really come in handy. So we haven't had a chance to see his active skill. We've seen Goku's. But it's been really good to see his kit and see how it performs. And obviously this is a very good team for him, so we're not too concerned about anything there. Uh, overall, here we're going to have Goku and the... Uh, well, we're going to try and see how they do. Obviously, uh, we're trying not to maximize the damage that the other units do. But if there's a chance to see someone's active skill or a high attack stat or something, you know... We still want to see it. I mean, like, Goku's active skill is not something you see every day. So it's an opportunity for new players to see it, to see what it does, uh, and just to get a good idea of the unit. Same with Go Freezer. It's nice to see an attack stat from them and just obviously see how they perform as well. Uh, see their animations, see their damage, and everything like that. So, yeah, uh, there's never really a bad moment to uh, demonstrate how a unit does in Dokkan. And it's good because we won't be able to review every unit straight away. So it's nice for people who maybe haven't seen these units in action. So we have 160k defense there, which is obviously very, very good. He's managed to build up some key as well, so we can get that 18 key a little bit easier. Uh, and here we have an attack damage support, so we should see a higher attack stat. And we do see about 3 million or so there. Obviously this isn't his 24 key. Uh, so we're not seeing necessarily his max damage that he could have done. And no additionals there, which is a little bit unfortunate. But 160 or so K defense with damage reduction, with 3 million, with a chance to crit. It's all very, very good looking from the 55% uh, Fujita here. I don't think we have any real condolences or problems or, or just issues that we have with Fujita. I think his performance so far has been more than fine. Uh, and uh, yeah, more than happy with what we're seeing right here. Uh, here we're going to see obviously uh, Goku rock up again. Uh, we will see him do some decent damage. Uh, Goku is a unit that people don't really like so much uh, because he obviously takes time to build up. But once he does, he can be really, really good and dish out some really good damage like we're seeing here. Uh, so yeah, pretty good for Goku. Uh, but so far from Vegeta, I think we're seeing everything that we want to see from him. I think we're getting a good idea of how he performs. We're getting a good idea of uh, what he's like in Super Battle Road. And just getting more of a look at how he performs at 55%, which I think is good for players who are summoning. There's still a couple days of bonus on the ticket banners. And it's good for players who have him, who maybe haven't taken on the content yet, who are maybe new players, and just want to get a good idea of how he performs. Uh, now we have Vegeta on rotation, uh, so I think here we're gonna try not take, uh, try not use an item. We have quite a bit of health and everything, so we'll see how Vegeta does. Um, and yeah, just get a good look at him without an item. I think that's really the best place to go and see how much damage he can take. Of course, also there's no support on this rotation, so if we had a support, we probably might take a bit less damage. Uh, we also would dish out a bit more attack damage. 
but yeah, uh, oh, we're getting supered, which is really good, and 72k. So Vegeta is a very, very solid. Great attack stats, great defensive numbers, and 72k without an item on SBR is really, really good. Uh, he's also going to get the additional super here, which is really solid. And he's going to have a chance to crit there, which so is I think very, we've very seen good. everything that we need to see from Vegeta. Uh, we will probably wrap up this SBR and get the victory. Uh, but yeah, I think we've seen everything we need to see from him. I don't think there's anything more uh, that he needs to display or anything like that. Uh, obviously, you can see his counterpart there taking 92k uh, in a type disadvantage to attack. So yeah. Obviously, bearing in mind that that uh, attack from Jiren was a uh, type disadvantage attack, so he would have taken about 140, 150 or so from a neutral typing uh, or from a type disadvantage, but he also could have got hit a couple more times, increasing his damage reduction, which would have obviously really, really helped. So we'll see Goku's Spirit Bomb once more, uh, and it's big damage that it will do. Yep, so it's always nice to see the active skill. Uh, we will be using one last item here, uh, and then we should be good to go. Uh, between Goku and Go Freezer, uh, they will be dealing out quite enough damage to take out the, quite a few of these units here. Goku does tremendous damage after he uh, fires off his Spirit Bomb, uh, and obviously the Go Freezer does quite a decent amount of damage uh, once the units are down in terms of attack. So yeah, we've got the Dokkan attack here as well, so that'll probably finish off a couple of them as well, if not all of them in one go. Uh, like I said, Goku does pretty crazy damage and he's attack effective against all types. And this Goku has two dupes in them, so we're going to be seeing some decent output here, uh, if not finishing off the entire rotation. But I think that's going to be it from us guys, uh, I think the SBR was a pretty good run. Uh, definitely really nice to see Vegeta perform really well uh, at 55% so if you do have Vegeta at 55% just know that he can carry you quite well in the Super Battle Road stage. That's going to be it from me guys, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Until then stay safe and bye!